Hi, welcome to ERP Next video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to update opening balance in the accounts. If you are using another accounting solution before ERP Next, then here are some prerequisites for updating the opening balance. Ensure that all the accounting ledgers as present in the legacy software are also created in your ERP Next account. Before updating the opening balance in the ERP Next, ensure that balance sheet and the legacy system is closed. You can update accounts opening balance using journal entry. Open new journal entry. Select entry type. If you select opening entry here, then all the child accounts in the balance sheet will be fetched in this journal entry. Select posting date. Opening balance for the accounting will be updated on the posting date selected here. Enter opening balance of an account in the debit or the credit column based on its account type. For updating opening balance for receivable and payable account, you should also specify party name. If you want to update opening balance for another party, then this is how you should add a new row for it. Let's save this journal entry. Set as opening field as yes. As per the double entry accounting system, total debit value in an accounting entry must be equal to the total credit value. Now we can submit this journal entry. On submission, the opening balance will be updated in the accounts. If you want to update opening balance for the few accounts at a time, then you can select them manually as well. After selecting an account, enter its opening balance in the debit or the credit column. For the balancing purpose, you can select an account called Temporary Opening. Once you have correctly updated opening balance for all the balance sheet accounts, then balance in the temporary opening account will be nullified automatically. You can also update account receivable from the sales invoice. Open new sales invoice. Select customer. Select posting and payment due date. Select item for which payment is expected. Set temporary opening account as an income account. Set as opening as yes. Save and submit sales invoice. On the same lines, you can also update payables towards supplier via purchase invoice. For the warehouse account, opening balance will be updated via stock reconciliation or stock entry. Let's quickly check how to create a stock opening entry. Open new stock reconciliation. Select posting date. Have items fetched based on the item's default warehouse. Update opening stock and valuation rate for the items. In the Difference Account field, select a temporary opening account. Save and submit stock reconciliation. On submission, accounts posting will be done in the warehouse account. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, go to erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.